Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 7th, but we know that the timing is fluid. Typically, these dailies tend to play out a few days later, at least in my experience, they do. Uh, well, I have one that fell out. It was the Seven of Swords reversed, so the Seven of Swords reversed is... Oh no, it's the Five of Swords reversed. I don't know why. I immediately thought it was the Seven of Swords reversed. But anyway, Five of Swords hostile. Hostilities. Hostilities. Same as Seven Swords reversed, really. Um, mm, there could be some revenge. Somebody is seeking revenge. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. But when I get a card in reverse, it's either the absence of or extreme. And I feel like this is an extreme. This is like mourning of a loss perhaps it's not heeding a warning there could be even some public humiliation here where somebody seeks revenge there could also be some crime that is exposed five of wands now we got a couple of fives five five actually we got four of them five 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 so i don't know if you can see all those fives but it, it happens there there's there's four of them here okay completions too because we got the uh, equal tens but if you notice all the fives here Okay, there's there's four fives here. Um, so five, 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 five. Fives are about um, expect the unexpected. Changes. Life choices. Big changes. You are about to experience a major change in your life. And I think it's un unexpected. This is divinely guided major life changes. This is about letting go of the old and bringing in the new. So get prepared. There's definitely been some fighting going on. This could be an all-out war. And I do know that Mars is going retrograde. So beware. I'm just I just gotta be honest with you. Okay, beware. Okay, this is this is fight mode. And I'm not saying that you should fight. These cards would suggest that you walk away. The best thing for you to do is walk away do not engage because with this mars energy the one that initiates the fight is the one that loses so keep that in mind it's better to just walk away and I know, and and if you and if you don't and if you don't believe me, be prepared to lose. <sighs> Ten of Cups reversed. Now, remember I said these equal tens. Completion, completion, completion. This is a two fives equals ten. Two fives over here, and another ten. Completion, completion, completion. There's relationship problems. This could have to do with somebody in your family that you've been fighting with. Could be uh, somebody that you're married to. Could be a love relationship. Could be a family quarrel. Could be... It's anybody that you have been in... Some, you were happy with working with this person or being with this person at one point. But now there's a lot of conflict. This could be children leaving the home. This is a dying dream. There's relationship problems. It's not very peaceful. Death. No. Why do I keep seeing the wrong things? It's not death. That's the, that's the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is irresponsible, unfaithful, jealous, unhealthy, greedy, selfish, materialistic. Somebody that is obsessed. They have no long-term plan. They're really not qualified. They may be going through some sort of financial loss and it's affecting their relationship. Somebody's been in an insecure relationship, unstable. Emperor reversed. Ah, that's not the emperor. 
That's the King of Swords reversed. I don't know what is going on. Interesting, because it's like my, my head is getting ahead of me. My, my own intuition is getting ahead of me. The King of Swords in reverse is somebody that is very abusive. The Emperor in reverse is as well. We do have a relationship. I don't know who it's with that is coming to an end. That's why I saw the death reversed. The King of Swords in reverse is, is abuse. There's mental abuse here. Physical abuse perhaps as well. Psychological abuse even. Somebody's being dishonest. The, the There's like an absent father here or there could be some father issues. This person is lacking integrity, is, is power crazed, is cold and abusive, and is being dishonest. There's somebody that is in this relationship that is being dishonest. They're being unfaithful. They're being irresponsible. They definitely want to win at all costs. They have no moral conscience. And it feels like... I saw the Seven of Swords reverse. That's getting caught. Getting caught in the act, whatever they're doing. Could also be sneaking away. Hmm. The world reverse. Lack of success. Flogging a dead horse. Somebody is lacking goals. They're very frustrated. Refusing to explore a new avenue. Stuck in the present. Refusing to listen to anyone. But an attitude adjustment is coming. Somebody hasn't been learning from their mistakes and they're about to learn some sort of lesson the hard way. There has been some sort of stagnation here, but we're about to, something is about to happen, okay, with these two fives. There's about to be a change. It's time for a change. We have a person here that fights all the time. I'm not going to listen to anybody. I just want to win. I got to prove myself. Well, that person that has to prove themselves is going to lose. They're lose. They're not going to be victorious. <sighs> Magician reverse. This is bad. It is bad. And and it is. It is. It's bad. This magician reversed is, is definitely lack of success. We have somebody here that is abusing their power. This person is a show-off, very, very boastful. Um, a liar, a thief, a manipulator. This person is violent. I feel like we have some violence here. We have a serious liar, period. Anyway, we have a liar. Somebody that is totally irresponsible. Has no morals. Has no conscience. But they're not going to be successful with their plan. It's like they didn't plan effectively. They're, it's like, and they do something stupid. Somebody's going to do something stupid. They didn't plan effectively. It's like they think they're going to get away with whatever they're doing, but they're not going to get away with it because other people are going to get engaged. Golden opportunity here. Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity for success. A new solid opportunity. Something you can touch. Somebody is getting a gift of some sort. They will be given an opportunity. They will be giving, uh, given an opportunity. Somebody is looking for something. And, and it's like the higher power or God is saying we ha to go down this path. You have an opportunity to go down this path right here. You, but you have to make a choice because the fives are about life choices. Do you want to continue to fight or do you want to go down the higher path? Have you learned your lesson or do you want to continue playing games and get hurt? 
<clears throat> Somebody is going to be given an opportunity to go down another path. But they're stuck. Whoever this person is, is really stuck. They're stuck in their old ways. They are. They're stuck in their old ways and, and needing to prove themselves. I feel like we have somebody that is losing power. They're losing, they're losing their power. And so they're going to do something stupid because they're losing their power. Ah, star card reverse. That is feeling hopeless. Why is this happening? Why, 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 why? This is not what I asked for. Both of these cards. I, this is not what I asked for. Somebody may have tried to manifest something that it wasn't meant. They weren't, they weren't meant to have. People do that shit all the time. It's like black magic, which is stupid. It's not real. Um, they, but bet you send them intentions out to the universe, you know, and it comes back to you tenfold. Tenfold. So if anybody's been doing black magic, they're about to get it back tenfold. Just saying. Um, the universe is in control. This is like, this is lack of success. Somebody's plan, their, their inefficient plan is not going to be successful. It's not. No success. No success. No victory here. There's some sort of illness here. Somebody's faith is going to be tested. We have an individual that isn't very spiritual. They're very, very, very arrogant. This arrogant individual is about to lose. What are they losing though? They're losing a golden opportunity. They're losing something that they could touch. They are. It feels like it's being taken away. King of, it is being taken away. King of Pentacles reversed. We have somebody here that is very materialistic. It's almost like we're dealing with a thief. Money is more important than love. It's all about money. We have a very materialistic individual here who does things probably illegally, very much focused on things. They can't see that there's a better route. There's going to be a loss. There is definitely going to be a loss because we have an individual that hasn't learned their lesson, a very materialistic individual. Somebody's going to be losing something that they were holding on to for all the wrong reasons. We definitely have somebody here that is unfaithful as well. There's unfaithfulness. There's going to be a fight. Somebody could get hurt. Somebody has to let go of their ego, that first card out, and they just can't do it. They can't do it. This is an opportunity to let go of your ego and let go of something that is based on in materialistic. It's materialistic. It's something to have, but it's not what you're supposed to have. And I know that's hard to explain. It's hard for me to explain. Anyhow... We have a very stubborn individual here that needs an attitude adjustment, and they are about to get one. 
there's relationship problems. They may be dealing with an individual that they thought they could steal or, so, you know, sometimes people think that they could steal another person's husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend, you know what I mean? And it ain't going to work out. This is not going to work out. And everybody's going to hear about it too. And it's going to be embarrassing. This is going to be a public embarrassment. Somebody's going to get very, 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 very angry by the looks of things. Oh, this is of a materialistic nature for sure. This could be even sexual, okay? It's like somebody is is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. It's like they're doing it in the dark, thinking they're never going to get caught. They are going to get caught. This is somebody that is overindulging, okay? They are obsessed. This is lust. This is greed. This is ego. This leads to disaster or a death. We have somebody here that is uh, doing the wrong thing. They are choosing to do the wrong thing. They have some sort of addiction. It could be a sexual addiction. It could be a drug addiction. Whatever it is, there's an addiction here. Ego. A <laughs> big ego. Somebody's ego is in control. Whoever this person is, and they want to win at all costs, you know, to be in that limelight, they are, you know, to get that ego boost, they're going to lose. Somebody is about to lose a battle. Somebody is in some, a very unhealthy situation. And they haven't been able to find their strength to break free from it because of it's almost like they enjoy the risk or they enjoy the power or the uh, the instant gratification it gives. And who and whoever this person is has no moral conscience. It's all about that instant gratification. You know, we may even have somebody here with a mental illness that um, does something, okay? This person does something. All is not as it seems, just put it that way. That devil is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. And I think that somebody is going to get angry. Very, 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 very angry. Because it's what they see is not what they get. Somebody's in an unhealthy relationship. It's almost like they're trying to force. They're trying to force something that isn't meant to be. Oh, spur of the moment decision. Somebody is going to be making a decision. They're going to be making a choice. It's a very stressful choice. It's going to be all of a sudden. Somebody may, may suddenly decide to stay or suddenly decide to go. There's some sort of lack of contentment here. They're thinking about their options and they're about to make a move. And it looks like they're looking at they're looking at the um taking the route that they shouldn't take, put it that way. Somebody is is definitely thinking about uh Doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Put it put it that way. They're, this person's looking at the devil. It's like selling their soul. 
absolutely this is like selling it's like so somebody is thinking about you know doing something that they shouldn't be doing for that instant gratification and they're about and you know what they would they may get the instant uh gratification but almost as instantly as they get it they get taken down Oh, interesting. Ace of Wands that on the bottom in reverse that is taken down. So anyway, I would have to say to get prepared to make a choice. Make sure that you are acting um, out of integrity. Uh, my my best advice is for you to walk away. Um, do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? Do you do you want to succumb to temptation and get hurt? Or do you want to go down another path? You have an opportunity right now to choose another path. Okay, you do. You do. But you can choose to ignore it. You can choose to ignore it, ignore it and go down that path of instant gratification that doesn't last okay there's somebody is definitely going to uh have a choice they're gonna have a choice and the, and, and the choice will be yours you can choose to uh and you might lose it all if you go down this other path you could lose it all you could lose your job you could lose your stability you could lose your security uh your financial um uh, future could start to fall apart i'm just i'm just being honest with you I feel like go by choosing the thing that is not good for you, that is unhealthy, that is toxic, that ends in disaster, will truly end in disaster, especially financial disaster. We could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Capricorn here. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. We have Gemini. We have Aquarius. We have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be anybody. We all take on these energies. But I see there is some sort of relationship problems here where somebody is, it's almost like they're moping. They're moping. They're, they're crying. They're pouting. You know, they're having a hard time um, mastering their emotions and they need some sort of ego boost and they do something stupid and uh, a fight breaks out. And they end up with some serious regrets if they even make it. Somebody is making a decision right now. Or they're about to. They have a choice. The choice to either go down the path to... Uh, this is a very unhealthy place. This is a toxic bond that does not last. Or they can go down the path to abundance. But they're going to be making a choice. And it looks like this person is not choosing the right path to me. And it's because there's some sort of strong desire to get their needs met that they can't see that there's a bigger, better opportunity. They, they just have this desire. It's like they have a one-track mind. They have not learned their lessons from the past. They have not. So somebody is going to be repeating a life lesson. And it's probably, whatever they're doing, it's not going to end on a successful note, put it that way. It is not. If this is a third party situation and there's two men involved, we could have one man here that gets very upset and uh, I don't know if there's weapons or what.
choose wisely in the next couple of days in regards to who you want to fight with because somebody could snap at a moment's notice. Good luck.